Juarez is spreading in Mexicali. This is migrants wait for their chance at asylum in a Mexicali shelter. They shared with our Adam Klepp right now they feel unsafe living in Mexico. At this shelter in Mexicali, currently 23 migrants live here, all just sharing this one bathroom. They're also sleeping in these soft-sided structures, very difficult conditions for these migrants to live in as they wait for their opportunity to seek asylum and a new future in the United States. Damian Oliva is from Cuba, but is currently living in the Ayuda para Migrante shelter. He says he doesn't feel safe in Mexico. In Juarez, it is insecure. Here it is insecure. The whole country is insecure. Because of the police, the narcos, and the criminals, we hope to have a solution soon. But Oliva is now stuck in Mexicali as Cuba was recently added to the list of Title 42 countries by the Biden administration. He's thankful for the support of the shelter as many now in Mexicali are full. It's a place where he can stay while he waits for Title 42 to end. It's either that or getting an asylum appointment at a port of entry. Everyone is desperate. Everyone wants to enter or have their application process. Oliva says he heard the migrants inside the detention center in Juarez started the fire, something echoed by Mexico's president. But this shelter's director says the blame for the deaths lies with the Mexican immigration officials as security footage from inside the detention center shows guards walking away from the fire as migrants desperately try and escape from behind bars. Is falta... What happened in Sierra Juarez is due to a lack of professional ethics by the Migration National Institute. They're supposed to protect migrants. The survivors in Sierra Juarez claimed all of their belongings, including lighters, were taken from them before being detained arguing it could not have been a migrant who started the fire. Reporting in Mexicali, Adam Klepp, News 11. Congress